So we are on our way to the Oyster Dome. It's a local trail in uh, land that's managed by the Department of Natural Resources of Washington. It's a pretty popular trail. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty crowded up there today. It's got a spectacular view of Puget Sound. And then I think you can, uh, from the parking lot, which is called the Samish Overlook, you can see pretty much all of Skagit Valley, which is quite a, quite a view as well. And then uh, I think there's a couple of spots where you can get in and you can actually see the North Cascades. So we'll see you at the trailhead. Discover Pass. Uh, the Department of Natural Resources and Washington State Parks require that you have what's called a Discover Pass to park in any of their parking lots. Department of Natural Resources requires it that you have it um, to actually, actually even just drive on their roads and don't get me on that soapbox. And uh, but anyways, so mine had expired unbeknownst to me. So we're on our way to go pick one up and then we're going to go pick up Jesse. Well, we're here at the, where are we at? Oyster Dome. Oyster Dome Trailhead. As you can see, it overlooks, where is it? Where is it? Right there. Right there. There's Puget Sound right there. You can't see my finger. It's all reflecting. So Puget Sound's right there. But, uh, yeah, we got Jesse. He's down there taking pictures somewhere. Um, it's a short hike, but it's a steep hike. Um... Anyways, we're going to head out. We're here. Gus is whining as usual. <sighs> He's such a diva. Such a big baby. Anyways, we'll talk to you in a little bit. of this trail are actually part of the Pacific Northwest Trail. And that's the trail that actually starts in Glacier, Montana, I believe, and goes all the way to the Olympic Peninsula. Um, actually, I did not know this. I know that there's parts like where I, close to where I live, that cut through various places like Baker Lake, and it goes through the Mount Baker Ski Area and that, but yeah, it's kind of cool. So it's been a while since I've done a video hiking the trail and actually last time was with uh, Jesse up uh, right there when we did uh, up to we we're gonna go up to Cutthroat Pass actually up to Hearts Pass and we got weathered out but the, what happened afterwards was a lot of fun we drank beer and ate meat anyways <clears throat> since that video I've lost 30 pounds and coming up this trail has been a little bit of a challenge, but not near what it was, what it would have been um, had I not lost that 30 pounds.
top of Oyster Dome. We just got done with lunch. We're going to take a few pictures out here. Um, it's freezing up here. When you're in the shade, it's colder than all bejeebies. So we're heading down. So, as I said earlier, I lost 30 pounds actually in the last six weeks. So this is kind of a test hike for me. There's been a lot of up, fair amount of elevation gain. A little winded, but not near what I would have been, oh, say, two months ago, or even back when we were doing the PCT when uh, Jesse and I were heading up the Hearts Pass. So I feel good about this.